It's a ticking time bomb, player. One top name in AEW allegedly fears that CM Punk situation is a ticking time bomb. Dave Meltzer just making up total BS here, guys. I mean, obviously, the situation is like, you know, I would say it is. You could describe it as on a knife edge, right? But Meltzer's just plucking all this shit out of anywhere, man. Big Dave Meltzer just trying to come up with anything about, why the elite, man? They're so much better than CM Punk. I hope CM Punk goes to Meltzer's basement, raps on the door. Well, he'll have to rap on Meltzer's mum's door, and then he'll have to sneak down into the basement in order to confront Meltzer. But I cannot wait. For CM Punk to do that. I say that as if there's like a realistic opportunity. But anyway, digress. May as well move into this article. But uh, let's dive into it. CM Punk is scheduled for a match in 2023. AEW New Japan Pro Wrestling Forbidden Door Peter Fury Fenton will be in the same building with the Elite for the first time since their backstage altercation in 2022. As previously noted, Dave Meltzer of FBWOnline.com claimed during a postwrestling.com podcast that there's still a lot of divisionists. Divisionists? That is just a, that is a Meltzer term and a half, isn't it, man? Honestly, in AEW following the return of Punk. Punk has still not resolved this issue with the Elite claiming, uh, well, despite claiming that he's open to having a discussion. Well, does that... I mean, he's still not resolved his issues despite claiming that he is open to having a discussion. Surely to resolve the issues, they have to have that discussion. That is just retarded. Like, I mean, that, that's not even Meltzer. That is Aaron Rift of NoDQ.com. Like, come on. Like, I can bury Dave Meltzer here all I want, but let's be real, guys. All these jobbers are absolute bums. Let's make no mistake about it. In the, re the, the latest Wrestling Observer newsletter, Dave Meltzer wrote the following about the situation. Damn it. One top name noticed to us that then when they went home after the show on Wednesday, it was dynamite in a bad mood. And even with the key people kept apart and not on the same shows, described the fear of this being a ticking time bomb that will not have a happy ending. Meltzer stated that Punk's ESPN interview and Collision promo did nobody any favours and led to a lot of frustrations in regards to Punk's counterfeit box line on Coalition. Meltzer noted that line was not known ahead of time by both sides, despite reports saying otherwise. Well, you know what? That just makes CM Punk even better then, doesn't it? And as you see, guys, the comments, why is it always Dave Meltzer stirring the pot? And then we've got Jet saying he hits CM Punk because Punk doesn't respond to him when he's pestering people to comment on gossip, etc. This is Meltzer's revenge for Punk not feeding dirt, etc. He's probably, plus he's very likely sexually attracted to the Bucks and Kenny. Yeah, definitely. I think Dave Meltzer swinging down Kenny Omega's Maddie. Maddie play in Japan, player. Uh, right, at the end of it, Tony's job is to fix this problem. The more you try to sweep this under the rug and hope that it fixes itself, the worse this thing will get and the worse your locker room atmosphere will be. Get the lawyer out of this, have all parties to sit down, work it out, get rid of one of the problems. It's just fucking embarrassing, the whole situation that, like, he's had to literally create a new show for CM Punk. I mean, I guess if there's anybody that would have to create a new show for, it would be Punk. But at the end of the day, like, if this is McMahon, he'd sit them down or he'd fucking just tell them straight to their face here. You just can't work together get out. If this was McMahon, we'd be having Punk against the Elite on TV. Not fucking separate it, man. And that's that's the worst thing about this. We could AEW could actually be getting some really good television, but what are we getting? We're getting absolutely nothing. Uh Cuckoo Baba says Punk is gonna get these idiots. The time is right, the only person whose fault it will be is Tony Khan. Remember when Sean left you a shell of a man? Sean, I remember the time at LU and you not being the same since hee hee. Lol, keep feeding the baba. This guy talks baba but blocks people that own him on site. He's not very friendly yet, but block me also. And this is a burner account. Users like this will never go away, just like weeds. Don't really know what's going on in those comments, but all I know, guys, is Dave Meltzer, he's stirring the pot, man. He's stirring the pot. I didn't know the electricity reached his fucking basement, but apparently it has. Now he has a full working kettle. He's put CM Punk and the elite in the in the kettle. I thought, fuck, he's got a cooker. He's got an oven. And he's stuck these three in, and he's, well, not the oven, like, he's stuck them on the hob, and he's stirring them about, and he's like, yeah, Davy boy is stirring the pot. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Leave your thoughts down below. But until next time... Bow wrestling, signing out, down and out.